Now we're going to measure the air flowing through a grill. How many of our cubic feet flow through the grill every minute? Well, grills aren't like diffusers because grills come in an infinite number of sizes, infinite number of face configurations. So we measure the duct size, which in this case is 24 by 12. Again, consult our book of factors for this particular type of grill. Now we have to know, is it got one set of blades, two sets of blades, is there a damper or no damper? These are all parts of the consideration. So when we find in the book that the factor for this with a damper with two sets of blades is 0.72. So we measured 24 inches by 12 inches, that's two square feet times 0.72 is 1.44 square feet. Okay is our AK factor for this. To measure, there's two schools of thought. One school of thought is you get an average if you move the anemometer. This is a rotating vein anemometer. One school of thought is you move it like this to get an average at times for a few seconds and then it gives you the average velocity in feet per minute. Or you could take a reading there, a reading here, a reading here, and a reading here, and average the four readings. Whichever way you do it, it is up to you. Um, depends again on how the air is coming out. Sometimes the air all tends to be at one side and not, and not equally spaced. So sometimes you get a better average this way. Try it both ways, see which way you get the better average. Because remember, we're always looking for the average velocity and an area. The area is easy to measure, the average velocity is not always easy to measure. Okay. So, we measured a thousand, our average was a thousand feet per minute. The area is 1.44 square feet, so the cubic feet per minute is 1,440 cubic feet a minute. A thousand times 1.44.